so let's learn teri diwani uh, basically the song is again uh, it's pretty much on e minor scale so it's getting the chords of the g major scale so that's the first thing you need to know in any song what are all the available chords so the available chords come from the family of the g major scale so let's try and look at all the chords of the scale g major as a uh, one sharp which is f sharp and then all the chords available are g major which is the one c major which is the four d major which is the five then you have the two minor which is a minor b minor which is the three minor and e minor which is the six minor okay so with these three with uh, major chords and three minor chords you have a palette or you have a set of uh, tools which you can use to uh, make a song of course in this case we are going to learn the song right but the available chords all are coming pretty much from g major and that's the prominence for most of the parts are to start each section on the e minor chord so the relative minor of the g major scale is e minor so there's a lot more of the e minor going on but the chords come from g major right so the song you could say is officially on e minor but also on g major and it bought the timing of the song is a little different than some other songs you could probably count in six one two three four five six teri diwani three five six one two but we try to not keep a very strong 6 feel going so you could perhaps try out this groove so let me first teach you the groove and then we can try and use this same groove with pretty much the whole song so let's see how that works so if i take e minor chord Try this in your left hand. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, and the right hand could do one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two, one and two. So if you do that with the D, D, V, N, D, D, V, N, E, E, M, N, A, N, A, T, N, A, N, A, D, V, N, E, right? One and two and three and one and two and three and so this hits at the one and the end of the two. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two. Na 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 na. And the left hand. Okay. Now, if you can't get that rhythm, maybe you can just go. One here and three here for every chord. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. You could call it like a one is to three ratio between the left hand and the right hand, right? Um, or you can just hold the chord, but then that will be a bit boring. So it's good to have a good rhythm going. Okay, great. So let's do the three main sections, which I am calling as the verse, the pre-chorus, and the chorus. And that's pretty much all you're gonna have in this song, barring a really nice vocal intro. uh at the beginning which has a lot of trills which have some nice backing chords so i'll give you a trick a, a couple of tricks to play later in the video there's also flute solo and then there's two more unique verses which we'll also learn but let's learn the main content of the song first okay so we'll start with verse 1 and we have nupur here who's going to help us sing and uh, so that you understand with the vocals and the chords how they change and work well together okay so let's do the verse please yeah tere naam se ji lo tere naam se mar ja
let's try and learn that so that's basically d c e minor and that's where there's actually no vocals once you have that e minor part it's just like a guitar plucking thing which you'll hear in the song so da na 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 d e c Stay on E minor and then it repeats. Na 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 D D major. Na 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 C. Na 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 D. Na na C. Let's do this again and I'll try and point out the chords while we sing. So we go a little slower. Three. Start. D. C. E minor. Six E minor two four five six one two three four five and so on one two three four we'll do it once more the vocals the whole whole section one two three four five three four five six two three four five six E minor D four five and now the vocals comes back D two three one two three four five three now. Right, so I hope that part was clear, and then we go to the pre-chorus where you have a the, the part before Teri Diwani, which is uh, you would say the chorus. The pre-chorus, the chords change very fast, so uh, you need to be very very clear about it. So maybe after each section is over, you could pause the video and try to practice each part independently, and then move forward. There's also a down the the entire note sheet which you see in front of me is available as a free. PDF download. So do click on the link in the description and get yourself a copy. And it's important to have that while we work, so you also understand my kind of uh, language while I'm telling you. Okay, let's now do the pre-chorus with Nupur and see how that sounds. Okay, and then I'll break down the chords. Okay, na 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 that part. Yeah, two three start. <laughs> That's the chorus, which is really easy. Let's just do the pre now. Na 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 na. So that's E minor, D major, C major, B minor, A minor, G major, D with F sharp, E minor. That's quite a bit of chords, isn't it? So you go E minor, D major. So basically, you need to keep. Shifting chords every three beats for the pre-chorus, as opposed to the other parts where you change every six beats. So in the pre-chorus, you're going E two three, E minor two three, D major two three, C two three, B two three, A minor two three, G major two three, D with F sharp. Okay, let me point out the chords also here. So you have, you can do it with the singing. Three start, E minor, D major. C major, B minor, A minor, G major, D major, E minor, and then goes to the other part. Just observe, there's a little chord here called D with F sharp bass. That means when you play D major, don't play D in the bass, play F sharp in the bass. So normally people play D major with D in the bass. Try to play F sharp bass. So E minor, D major, C, B minor. A minor, G, D with F sharp, E minor. Okay, and the chorus is really easy. Let's just do it once together, and then I'll tell you the chords. Just two chords. Yeah. No, te teri divani. Yeah. Teri divani. E minor. That's what is that? D major, E minor, Teri D major, E minor. It's 
pretty much it right so that's like the easiest part so if if not everything at least you can get one part really easily okay then you have like a flute solo which is really nice the flute solo is basically supported by just the e minor chord and the d major chord so i've written it down i may not be able to spend that much time on that because we are trying to do more of the vocal bits okay so you go da na na e minor Just E minor, basically E minor, and a, and a D major, E minor, and then it takes us to the verse two, which is quite groovy, right? Okay, so let's do the last singing part of the song, which is verse two, and the chords pretty much are the same even for verse three. We'll try and do a little bit of both, but let's focus our video on verse two. So if you get verse two, you can easily get verse three, but play it in a little bit more uh, softer or a more mellower way. So okay, let's try and do verse two together. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> my favorite part of the song to the verse of the song right the main hook okay so here again the chords change quite fast so it's e minor b minor c major D major again E minor dag dag B minor C D E minor da 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 C major so the only difference is you do the one full round of E minor B minor C major D E minor B minor C major D E minor B minor C major D then you repeat the whole thing again but then when you end it to go back to the verse you go E na 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 B minor C major E minor the so last chord changes back to e minor so you can just see how i'm playing it on the piano you need to use inversions ideally to shift better and uh, try it. we'll put out a couple of uh, piano inversion links for those of you who are not sure of how to shift between the chords and that becomes a huge challenge as you play chords quickly now you have a chord changing every Three beat. So even guitarists have that problem of shifting, right? So we'll do it on the piano with inversions. So this is how I'm playing: E minor, B minor, C major, D major. Na na na, B minor, C. Okay, and the rhythm pattern you can use could be the same as what we've been always doing, which is. That rhythm works really well. However, you could also do. You could sort of like change the groove a bit. I I know it's not there in the song, but you could try. So this is like your left hand, and this is the snare drum or the right. This was like the original. is like the modified one so let's try this with the vocal 1 2 3 start 2 3 the other rhythm ishq ta jaadu sar chad kar bole more laid back right khub laga lo pehre raste tera and verse yahi ishq ki marzi hai yahi rab ki marzi hai yahi ishq ki rab se hai yahi see and goes on and on right 
So an awesome song. So it has a lot of parts, but just get the main parts: the verse, the pre, and the chorus. And the second verse, I've given you a little bit of a groovy um, kind of a texture to add. And at the beginning of the song, where there's this alap or a very ambient vocal intro, showcasing basically all the you know qualities of this amazing singer. What you could do on the piano or any instrument to support is basically follow these roots which I've written down, and just keep the D major chord <clears throat> pivoted. So you can do A D F sharp. This is a nice way of playing it, and perhaps you could use a pad sound instead of a piano sound, like a very ambient, moving motion kind of sound. And in the left hand or in the bass, you could just keep changing the chords. but not changing the chord here so you go this is d major it sounds very ambient so even though you're playing e you play the same d major chord here and then a very ambient sound to go with the singer in that ala part at the beginning or you could just not play it sounds fine if you have a really good singer the singer could just sing solo and then you could start uh, the section when once the verse starts right so this is teri diwani these are the chords of all the sections and as always uh, feel free to download the chord chart and uh, <clears throat> have fun practicing the song cheers and i'll catch you in the next one